Thank you. I love you too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, before, I, before I begin my remarks, I, I want us to all take a moment of silence for the loss of a firefighter yesterday and for the loss of uh, Tui Garcia's loss of his daughter. Um, we know all too well what the loss of a uh, child can mean to a family. So if we could just take just a, a, few, a few seconds. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm honored and humbled by all of your support. I ran for mayor to bring the city together, and it's clear based on the result tonight that the city is deeply divided. So tonight, even though of course we believe every vote should be counted, I called Brandon Johnson and told him that I absolutely expect him to be the next mayor of Chicago. And, and please, 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 please. It's critically, critically important. I mean, this campaign that I ran to bring the city together uh, would not be uh, a, a, a campaign that fulfilled my ambitions if this election is going to divide us more. So it's critically important that we use this opportunity to come together. And I've offered him my full support uh, on his transition. And God knows we spent a lot of time on, in forums together. Um, and certainly we shared a lot of opinions and I, I look forward to working with him and providing him with the full support he needs to, to be a successful. Before I begin, I want to take this moment to thank my family for their unwavering support and sacrifice. You know, of course, of course my wife Sharon, whose birthday is today, and as I mentioned, at, as I mentioned, you know, with me spending so much time away, um, she hasn't told me what a birthday gift, um, what she wants her birthday gift to be. Maybe she got it. You never know. <laughs> I know. No, no, don't blame Sharon. She's going to say, oh, great. Everybody's going to say, hey, what did you wish for? No, it, uh, I also want to, I also want to um, recognize my veteran and first responder sons, uh, Polly and Gus. And, and my and my and my daughter-in-law Leslie, who is a special education lawyer and advocate. I want to thank them very much too. I'm also joined on on the stage today by by Danny Golden, uh, a hero police officer. God bless you, Danny. And I know Carlos Yanez is here t today, looking strong and walking strong. Let's give him a round of applause, too. I want to thank each and every one of you who have cast their vote and supported me. Our journey over the last 10 months would not have been possible without you. Day in and day out, I've been energized by your enthusiasm to help us reach our ultimate goal of bringing our city back together and getting our city on track. We ran an issue-oriented campaign, which is the only campaign I know how to run. Issues important to everyday Chicagoans across our city. I put out a public safety first plan in this campaign because public safety is a fundamental right. Without it, we will be continued to be defined more by our differences than by what we yearn for in common. The only pathway forward in our great city is together whether it's quality schools, affordable or equitable economic development, the solutions we adopt and implement must work for all Chicagoans. I am proud that we have built a diverse coalition over the past 10 months, a coalition that has spanned across this great city and encapsulates the various cultures, languages, and ideologies that make Chicago so unique and so great. It's time for all Chicagoans to put aside their differences, and to walk and to work together supporting the daunting work ahead for our next mayor. I am optimistic that better, brighter days are on the horizon. Yes. Now before I conclude my remarks, I could not leave this stage without paying tribute uh, to all of you who have supported me and by recognizing some individuals specifically. And forgive me if, you know, if I don't recognize all of all of them and and but uh, in recognizing them 
it's a recognition of all that you have done both individually and collectively. First, my great thanks to Senator Dick Durbin, Secretary of State Jesse White, <laughs> Congressman Bobby Rush, <laughs> Governor Kat Pat Quinn, and former Senate President Emil Jones. Friends and heroes of mine who I've known for four decades, your support gave my career validation and provided enormous comfort and confidence in this race. I want to thank my opponents in the primary race who saw fit to support me, Alderman Rod Sawyer and Sophia King, Jamal Green, and, a, and special thanks to my dear and close friend, Dr. Willie Wilson, who, who gave my family so much comfort and support when we lost our youngest son. I want to thank other elected officials and office holders who also joined my campaign, faith-based leaders who graced me with their prayers, the 24 unions who endorsed me and supported me, and the many others, and the many others who had the faith in this campaign and my promise to make Chicago the city that works for everyone. I would also be remiss if I did not thank my exceptional campaign team led by Brian Town, who will, who our wives have permitted us to uh, participate in couples therapy after this race, <laughs> because we're gonna need it, and so many other dedicated and skilled professionals. We have been blessed with hundreds of dedicated volunteers who have been instrumental in helping us reach this point. I just want to say, say this journey is, has been great, and it is uh, an experience that I, that I w would not ex exchange for any of the experiences I, I've had in my long career. I want to thank you all for supporting me, and God bless you and your families.